Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. I decided to review on an Inkbird uh, smart home uh, temperature <clears throat> regulator and it comes with a uh, temperature probe. And this is something I found off of Amazon. It's not something that I bought from an aquarium store or anything like that. I haven't really seen it, but I was looking for a, a brand new heater controller for my titanium heating element and this is what I bought now a long time ago I'll just give you a little history uh, this uh, supreme heat master this was about the only heater we had okay uh, they had the heating element at the bottom a piece of mica separated that from the electronics and this was uh probably from the 60s when we had metafram tanks uh, that's basically I, re I remember them they were these gaudy colors like you could see i don't know why they made them in gaudy colors but basically this is all you can buy with heaters is these heat masters and they worked very well but one thing, they, they use like a, a set of contact points, okay, and when they would close, it would complete the circuit and your heating element would go on. And of course, then when your aquarium was hot enough, it would shut down and it had a built-in thermostat inside the whole heating element there, okay, it was built in. Well, today, of course, we have a choice of buying submersible. Basically, they're all submersible now. Or you can buy a controller separately, and then you can uh, just set the controller. Now, this is my old controller, and it wasn't very accurate. But today, the thing about uh, heaters is, look how small this is. a little 10-watt you can put in an aquarium. Didn't have that years ago. And these are all preset, so there is no way to set the temperature of where you want it. But this particular one has to be five to seven years old. Uh, it's a Pro Heat uh, Wong uh, controller. And when, when I would set it, like let, let's say I set it at 85 degrees Fahrenheit, the, the, you were lucky to have it at 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It could be hotter, it could be colder, so you had to keep adjusting it until you got the right temperature. So you needed to have something else to let you know what the temperature was. Now this particular Inkberg one, it's a smart home, smart life. It's, it's a Wi-Fi one, and it's not really that expensive. And you can get them off of Amazon. And I plugged it into uh, my heater, my titanium heater. My heater is in the wear so you don't see it in the aquarium. And it's easy to set up. You have a, a setup button where you can manually set it up, and it comes with two plugs. The top plug is for heat, the bottom plug is for cooling. But as you see, you have a heating and a cooling, so it will do both. Like I said, you would put a chiller into the bottom plug, and your heater goes in the top plug. And when the heat comes on, the light will come on, on the left hand side to let you know that it's heating and it will let you know when it's cooling the light on the right hand side will come on all you do is push set you can set it manually go up or down and then press set again and that locks in where you want your heat to be the thing about this is the inkbird comes with an instruction book a uh, very well written instruction book i was surprised it's not one of these kind where you're guessing. It's uh, 23 pages, this little instruction book. How to hook it up to your Wi-Fi. Very easy. Uh, it really is a smart controller. <laughs> I have to admit that. And the instruction book is well written. Even though this is made in China, it, it is something that is user-friendly for everyone to understand. And the first thing in the first pages, it will get you ready and set up for your Wi-Fi. And of course, this is the page on your phone that you will have. 
and this can come up right away and this will tell you exactly if it's cooling or if it's heating and you immediately know what temperature your tank is and it's accurate I've, I've double checked it but going back to the instruction book as you can see it has uh, it's made for all over the world it has four different kinds of plugs for the UK United States uh, uh, the the plugs for uh, uh, AU and uh, EU sockets so it's it's made for everybody and it's easy to read so if you have a, a old heater you can hook it up to this now as you can see the heating uh, temperature and the cooling back temperature it I have it set at within one degree you can set this between 1 and 20 degrees I have it set within one degree so if I let's say I have my heater set at uh, 79 degrees it will keep within one degree of that it will go down to 78 degree and turn back on it is extremely accurate within that one degree uh, cooling back temperature you can set that I set that at one degree even though I'm not cooling back anything but now the high temperature value means let's say your heater gets stuck and it starts overheating your aquarium once it hits 85 degrees there it's going to send an alarm to you your phone and a loud alarm let's say it goes to the low temperature value of 77 degrees okay uh, it will also send you an alarm that hey it's going too low and of course the rest of the parameters there are nothing you would want except maybe the Fahrenheit the unit switch which Fahrenheit and Celsius okay and this is the app the the one on the left side is the app and the one on the right side is the Wi-Fi that you can put directly onto your phone and when you click on that you immediately get this page and immediately you could see I have the temperature set at 79 degrees and the temperature right now is 79.5 so it is now uh, cooling down it was warmer than what I had set and I set the temperature at 79 degrees so I double check to find out if how accurate the temperature is compared to the old one I have and it is within one degree and I also set it so if it got too hot too cold to see if the alarm went off and yes the alarm works perfectly fine if you're looking for a controller this is an inexpensive tro controller um, you can buy off of Amazon just look it up Inkbird if you're looking for a controller and the only thing it did not have is it didn't have a suction cup for your uh, probe that goes in the tank that reads the temperature that's the only thing it didn't have I don't know why they don't give you a suction cup for your probe it's a titanium probe okay that goes into your aquarium and because they'll have three lines coming out once for your plug-in once for your probe and once to plug the whole unit into the wall and it has a hanger as you can see it has a hanger and it works very well it does what it's supposed to do even if you have a normal heater and let's say uh, your heater doesn't keep the temperature very accurate or uh, uh, it's now broke and it seems to uh, just be stuck on overheating your aquarium well you could hook that up to one of these without getting rid of your heater because you know it's the heating elements they seem to last forever you know like a toaster it's not the elements that burn out it's always the controls that wind up burning out on aquarium heaters and so I start looking for a new controller because my titanium heating element there was nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it it's a 300 watt heating element and it still works even though it's five to seven years old and that's the trouble with these heaters that you buy uh, they may work a year or two and then it's the controllers that wind up going and the heating element itself is fine there's nothing wrong with it and you're throwing away a perfectly good heating element just because the things may be stuck and will overheat you can buy a controller now and then you can put the heater wherever you want 
I kind of like the controller to be separate than the heater and have a heater element and a controller separate. Now the thing about it is, this is very well made. I'm looking at it as an engineer. I wouldn't change anything on it. it look, it's very well made. It does what it's supposed to do. It's got an app. It's the Wi-Fi. They have a, a non-Wi-Fi version and a Wi-Fi version. Um, I bought the Wi-Fi version. It was just a little bit more. Definitely go with the Wi-Fi version. And it'll hook up to your phone. So you can immediately tell what temperature is without putting temperature stickers all over or floating thermometers in your aquarium. This is really nice because it will hook up to Android or it'll hook up to uh, ISO, your uh, Apple, and without a problem. So the app works very nice. You can program it also. <clears throat> Let's say you want to, uh, uh, you have to, ick is, is a prime example. You have to treat ick. Uh, you can raise the temperature from your phone and raise the temperature up to like 85, 87 degrees from your phone. You don't have to go underneath the cabinet or wherever you have the, the controller at. You can do it all from your phone and readjust everything while you're treating your tank. Or let's say if uh, you decide you have uh, goldfish and you want to keep your tank at a lower temperature, you can do it right from your phone. Pro <clears throat> everything from your phone without ever touching the controller. And that's that's really nice and convenient. That's the reason I'm, I'm doing this, because I found this to be, I can't find any flaws with it. And usually, most things I look at, I can tell you, um, they're well made, but they're too expensive. This is priced very good, and I see some of these controllers and, and heating elements going for hundreds of dollars now. It's like, wow. These things are really starting to get out of hand. But this controller, very reasonably priced for what you're getting. Really, it, it is. Um, very accurate. I've checked the accuracy of this thing with several different ways, even using a thermal gun on the aquarium and everything. It's right on the money. It will keep it, if you if you set it for, for not to fluctuate more than one, degree Fahrenheit, it won't fluctuate more than one degree. It'll, it'll, let's say if you have 79, it'll go to 78, and the heater then turns on right away and brings it back up to 79 and shuts off. And it also has where if, if you go too far in those boundaries where it will set alarm to you that something's wrong and you can program that into it. And it only takes you a few minutes to program it, hook it up to your Wi-Fi and it makes your tank look a lot cleaner. And if you use something like this, you can hide your heater now. I, I have a wear where I hide it in the wear. You could hide your heater um, there behind plants and everything because you're using this. You don't have to worry about your heater. Just turn your heater all the way up, hook it up to this, and let it control it from your phone. So you can turn a normal heater into uh, a more digitized heater that you're buying because like I said it, it's usually not the heating element itself going bad it's usually the electronics of these heaters that are going bad and now you can just buy a controller like this and it works very well and that's why I'm doing this review I would highly recommend this if I if I had a greatest I'd say this is a quality okay price is right the it works the app works right. Everything's right. The only thing it didn't get an A-plus on because it didn't give you a little suction cup for the probe that goes in your aquarium, which it should have. It should have gave you some kind of suction cup holder so you can put the probe somewhere in your tank and, and stick it onto the back of the glass. Or me, I have it in the, my wear so you don't see it. So if you're looking for a heater element and don't want to spend a lot of money but want a good quality one, I recommend this. Okay, I highly recommend this. Uh, the 90 gallon tank, if you watched my last uh, uh, video, is doing great. In fact, I bought some angels just as uh, to keep uh, bacteria going and create ammonia and stuff like that. And they're already ready to spawn. 
in the 90 gallon tank. I'm not having any algae problems. Of course, like I said, I used the API uh, uh, bottle uh, to inoculate the whole system, but the, the plenum's working just fine. Everything's going smoothly. I have no complaints uh, uh, about anything. No brown diatom algae on the glass, nothing. Plants are nice and clear. Of course, uh, I used a lot of driftwood, so I do have a little bit of tanning of the water from the driftwood. That's the only downside of using driftwood. But otherwise, the tank is doing great. Absolutely great. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed the review. If you're looking for a controller, I would highly recommend that you go on Amazon, look up Inkbird. Um, they, I, I bought this myself, so they did not give this to me. I bought it myself, but really, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. Uh, when it's heating, the, the page that comes up on your phone will be orange. And when it's cooling, that page is going to be uh, blue. So it tells you right away as soon as you open up your phone, oh, it's the heater's on. And it's excellent. So until next time, I hope you liked the review. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a controller to buy one. This is the one to buy off of Amazon. Uh, I, I have no fault with the complete controller. Until next time, enjoy your aquarium.